What did the YouTube watch page used to look like? Today we are going to be looking at the history of the watch page on YouTube. For example, here it is in 2005. Compared to today, it's pretty much unrecognizable. So <laughs> let's look into it. So this is what it's like in 2020. You know, everything we know and love, the title down here, views, the date, the dislike still there, YouTube. Soon it'll be gone, 2022 update, you know, <laughs> something like that. But today we're going to be using the Wayback Machine to go all the way back to when YouTube was created to see what it looked like in the past. So we're using me at the zoo of course because it's the first video ever uploaded on YouTube so it would have all captures from all times. So here it is in its first capture in 2006 and I believe 2005 and 6 had the sort of same layout for the watch page. Right here is where the video would have shown but it's to do with weird flash player crap so it pretty much just glitched in this capture which is fine just imagine there's like a big box right here right. So the title would be at the top, the video stats were right underneath it, you can see the rating system was on a star rating, not like or dislike. They had saved favorites, had the groups, just a bunch of, you know, videos like this. You could also report it here, that was the old flag button on YouTube. And then over here you could see just information about the video, the orange subscribe button, you know, who was uploaded by Jod, all that kind of stuff. He was called the director of the video. I don't know why they did that, but that's kind of cool. So this is where the description would be. Over here you have the uh, the sort of buttons and stuff. Over here is the description. Then if you go down here, all the comments are right here. And then over here are all the suggested videos. But the interesting thing is all these videos are just like about zoo stuff. Probably because it's about me at the zoo. So you can see the YouTube algorithm kicking in all the way back in 2005. That's pretty funny. So that's what the YouTube watch page looked like all the way back then. But then moving on to 2007, here it is. Pretty much looks the same, right? Really, the only change that I noticed was they added the the button here. Basically, this allows you to sort through pages of comments. This used to be at the bottom in the previous year, but it got moved to the top for whatever reason. Anyway, moving on to late 2007, you can see this is what it looks like. All the sort of ratings and useful buttons have been blown up a little bit. The star ratings are, you know, bigger, and that's really about it. They have the, uh, condensed description now where you have to expand it. Suggested videos are right here. There's actually this button here. I guess if you click that, it's not really loading for me, but it would probably show related videos only from Judd, which is actually a pretty useful feature. Like if you only want to watch one thing from one creator, it's kind of a good button instead of having to like click through a playlist or like go to their channel. So honestly, I'd be interested in YouTube experimenting with that. But anyway, moving on to 2008, you can see it has changed yet again. YouTube pretty much updates the video page more than anything else that I've noticed. Like the channel page only a few times per every few years, but like, no, this is pretty much every year it's been updated. The yellow subscribe button, vibrant and bright as ever, right over here, a classic, right? This is where the video would be. Again, just a glitch. It would be a huge box right here. There's the ratings, still on the star system, the view count over here, description, featured videos, and then the comments down here. This is interesting though, video responses. I forgot that was a thing, but that's cool. Anyway, here is late 2008. You can see the only real change that is noticeable is up here. There's just different buttons. I don't know what the heck's up with that. But then in 2009, it got changed up a little bit again. So they were really experimenting with just the layout. And look at that, me at the zoo's at a million views now. As well as in 2009, you can see all this stuff sort of got shrunk down a little bit. The ratings are definitely smaller here. Anyway, progressing to 2010, look at that, we got a box. So this is a uh, very easier to see where the video would be. A lot has changed in this capture. You can see the username is now up here. The subscribe button is sort of white, which is weird up here. All the suggested videos are on the side now, pretty much how it is today, right? And then down here, the description and the like count and all the views and all that type of stuff. A lot of drop down menus, it looks like. I don't know why. Now moving on to 2011, you can see it's pretty much the same thing. They just got a few minor details and changes. They got the, uh, the lightsaber discount bar <laughs> where it's green and red, iconic. Iconic. And now here we are in 2012. This is where, I don't know, it, it just looks a lot more how I was used to on YouTube with this, this dragging bar. You can see that, that's pretty epic. <laughs> the like button, dislike button were on this side, I don't know why. View counter on this side, 
and then the, the bar, the lightsaber. Interesting video description. First video on YouTube uploaded 8.27 p.m. on April 23rd. That's neat. They also have a drop down menu here for the videos on the channel, so I don't know what that's about. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't, I don't remember that. But anyway, moving on, here it is in 2013. The subscribe button is now red and the username has been dropped down to below the video. So the video is pretty much the main focal point. Big title, you know, like and dislike and views all in one little corner here. Comments would be down here and all that. And then a big wall of suggested videos. That's what we're used to now. Pretty much everything after this is just gonna be minor details that YouTube likes to tweak around with. For example, the year later in 2014, the, you know, the like bar changed to blue and gray and that's really about it still a lightsaber though <laughs> you know and now here it is in 2015 youtube has another revamp uh this is actually my favorite layout of youtube yeah views and dislikes and likes and look at all that oh it just looks so good you know but anyway moving on to 2018 look at that abbreviated sub counts whatever youtube taking away all our cool features and that's pretty much what we're going to progress to youtube taking away features now <laughs> so here it is in 2019 you know pretty much the same until 2020 right here it expanded it got bigger on the screen the video is gone for some reason whatever but here it is look at that gray like and dislike button kind of kind of interesting and then the year after here it is today is black and white i don't know why they changed that oh the room i want to watch that no focus on filming me anyway this is what it looks like today soon the dislike count will be gone the button will be there but it'll be gone but it will be interesting to see where this evolves this isn't a part of it by the way this is a, a it's we should get rid of that okay it would pretty much just look like this on a normal computer. Just a bunch of suggested videos, right? <laughs> That's an extension I have installed, but yeah, that is the interesting evolution of the YouTube watch page. It has actually come a long way. Like, look at this, this is today, and this is back in the first capture. It's changed like drastically, it's crazy. So if you enjoy that and want to see more like this, click subscribe, as well as be sure to subscribe to xgo mcd Duffin. Xavier Phelps and Brenbuster 2K's Minecraft. All right, peace out. Thank you for watching, and of course, fly on.